Oh, man ordeals. Uh, if you come here as just Cecil, the fire blocks your way. But until the fire is removed, you will not encounter any zombie enemies. Just spirits and skeletons. And they are not immune to his dark sword. Pelham, if you please. I know, you don't have to remind me, dude! Pizza cake, dude! Pow! Palum, Elder taught us not to submit to arrogance. Shall we? Meanwhile! Come, my love. You thought it was my lord, it was really me, Skull Magadan! I'm only playing as a character right now, so I guess I should stay in that way. My lord of Earth at your service! Cecil aspires yes. to become a paladin. We must clip his wings now. You are wise to call me, sir! His dark sword is meaningless against my undead! We'll dispose of him! <laughs> Very well. Things have become interesting, don't you think, Kane? Yes, but Cecil might prove quite a formidable opponent. I understand your respect for your former friend, but Mylon will take care of him, even if he is a bit hammy in the process. Mylon is one of the four fiends. He'll put on a good show. Don't you agree, Rosa? Give me the task of slaying him instead of Mylon. Wait, wait, slay? You, you want to? You want to? Wait, you want to slay Mylon instead of Cecil? That's, that's, that's how it's headed. And who are you to ask this of me? I have not forgotten your blunder at Fabul. Your only task is to watch this woman. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I, I mean, it's 16-bit porn here, Kane. <laughs> so, up to man ordeals. We obviously know what's going on because it was a cutscene. Uh, I apologize for that. I... <laughs> Ah, uh, don't worry. We we we've had plenty of immature jokes in this run already. I just can't believe that's a line in the game. Watch this one. Well, in the American translation, it's watch this girl. So, whatever. Tower of Zots. It's not the dungeon, and I hate in the Tower of Zot. It's just the party you ha you're stuck with. <laughs> Oh god, yeah, but at least Tella has more MP in them. A whopping eight more. Hey, <laughs> he can still cast the next <laughs> Fire 2, man. Uh, not really, actually, because Fire 2 costs 15. Oh, I didn't mean that, I meant Tier 1. Okay, Flame Rod, that's... Uh, without the Dancing Dagger, I'd definitely give that to Palom. And there's really no point in casting single target magic with the dancing dagger. I did that last one out of habit. But I am fighting battles just to get at the twins a little bit more experience. And if you wanted uh, to break the game, and this is especially done in randos, I get Palom to level 20, 25 or so, so he learns Quake. Hmm. Quake kid. Uh, yes, he, he learns Quake and Virus pretty early on. They're both super handy. Oh, Silver Stop. What's that little ditty about how Riddy is the better character, but overall Palom's a better black mage? Yep. I'm not sure what the Silver Stop does. I want, I want to say it's like an hourglass, but we don't know. I'll take a preemptive strike. Well, let, let's just see if we get another comment from Porum here. Yep! Let's talk about that worst party in the game. <laughs> Two old men, a monk, and Cecil. <laughs> Not a lot of good healing. <laughs> oh, one-step encounter. Oh, but, but a good fight, though. I'll take it.
Yeah, Lil a pair of Lilis is the best um, encounter for experience in this dungeon. A Lilith and two red bones, second best. But no drop. A Lilith will drop a Lilith rod if you're lucky. And I don't need to change up equipment at the moment. But lo and behold, sudden mage! Tella! Cecil! Do you seek Medio as well? You know Medio, that means. Hey, old man, are you Tella? Watch your mouth, this man is a great sage! It's an honor to meet you. We were ordered by the elder to spy on. Uh, Kapow. <coughs> As I was saying, we're guiding Sir Cecil up Mount Ordeals. I implore him. And I pal him, dude! So you're Sage Tilla? You're pretty famous in Messidia. Messidian children, eh? Huh? Cecil, what happened to Edward and Rydia? We were attacked by Leviathan on our way to Barons. Good heavens! And my friend Rosa was captured by Golbez. Friend. I think he means girlfriend, dude! Shh. I cannot defeat Golbez with my paltry magic. I've been hunting for the sealed spell. Medio, ever since we parted ways. I felt a strong power from this mountain, and here I am. Medio is too dangerous for you. You're, you're too old. Uh, oops. Yes, I'm old. But no matter the price, I must avenge my daughter. Why so Groms? Why do Groms get me so big headed, dude? A child like you can never understand an adult's feelings. Whatever! If not for Medio, why are you here, Cecil? I came to become a paladin. My dark sword can't defeat Golbez. I've sought, long sought to renounce this hateful thing. Who's Golbez? Don't you know anything? He's the man controlling Baron! Yes, he is the sum of all evil! Nobody said there'd be math! <laughs> so at the summit lies the power of a paladin. There must truly be a secret on this mountain. I shall join you. So, Tell is back in our party. All he's got is some updated equipment. <laughs> but we can at least give him a plumed hat. Yeah, that Gaia gear is an upgrade from what he had previously. Is not much else. But... We are at Station 7, that is approximately the halfway point through the dungeon. Ah, uh, let's have the twins take these guys out. Now, even though it, the spell is called Pyro or Flare, it's actually non-elemental. Oh, really? I may be wrong on that, actually. Yeah, I thought it was Fire-based. Uh, Comet isn't. Yeah, uh, I'm. Oh. I'm at, okay. Well, we got we got we got a comment from Palum, so <laughs> I can't verify against the salt right there. <laughs> okay then. Level ups for the twins. No good spells at the moment. Go ahead and loot these chests. Recognize this view. We'll see it later. <laughs> Only one battle there. Here we got the summit. <laughs> Pelham, it's not me, dude. Then, then again, uh, making Pelham a printy does seem to be kind of like the person they re reincarnate into, don't you think? Absolutely. Oh, good, thi good thing she missed. That probably would have killed Pelham. What happened to your hit rate there, Cecil? You can normally one-shot these things. There you go. And no little rod drop again. But then again, you're not likely to not likely to get one. Okay, while I'm at it, let's do a quick sort. Put those high potions on top. And do a quick equipment swap. 
because uh, I wanted to give Palum the Flame Rod to buff his black magic for the moment. And same thing with Porum, give her a staff to boost her wisdom stat. And I really need to sell stuff. <laughs> Quick save and the toes on the party and make a mad dash up the stairs, only to be interrupted. <laughs> I told you stop! It wasn't me, dude! And since we know it's coming up, I'm just gonna run away from these guys. Probably missing out on some decent experience, but that's okay. <laughs> Watch out! I sense evil! I'm glad! Glad indeed to be able to slay you all! Who's there? You didn't hear my introduction to the cutscene? You must not have been paying attention! I am Goldmaster's Fiend of Earth, Mylon! Played by the one and only Skull Magellan! And you shall be a meal for my undead underlings! Not reincarnated from the corpses of Williamses, by the way, even I'm not that cruel! Uh, for the most part, have Cecil attack Mylon directly while oh, your mages will. We'll take out the zombies, or Skullins as they're called in this one. Is it true that he has powered up zombies? Uh, if you take, if you take out Mylon before the zombies, the answer is yes. <laughs> yeah, he'll counter pretty much everything with Lightning 1. But they go down quickly. Just have Porum keep everybody healed up, you'll be fine. And Tella can be the secondary healer since he has Cure 2. But with the zombies down, let's go ahead and swap the Dancing Dagger back in, because that'll probably do more damage. At the very least, it's free. Unfortunately, uh, with the way the counterattack system works, they get a counterattack, it doesn't reset their ATB. Oh! My body! Wait a minute! I never even had one to begin with! I've always been a pile of bones! <laughs> hey, a bomb part! 